I remember when I was a little kid and a storm would be raging outside. I mean like a real storm, thunder, lightning, rain. It would be like the trees would be bending over sideways and I would be so afraid that they were gonna get ripped out of the earth or to fall on the house and oh, I was so afraid. As I have gotten older, I feel like I have gotten over also this fear of the storms, but not necessarily the fear of emotional or mental things that are going on that are storming around me, people disagreeing, arguments, the world in an uproar. These things, if I'm being honest, do kind of, um, I don't know if scare me is the right phrase, but certainly takes my attention away from the peace that I know that I am. And so today, I thought that I would create for us a guided meditation that had to do with embodying peace in the midst of the storms. Thich Nhat Hanh says, a mountain is not swayed by the wind. What a beautiful sentiment and a beautiful truth. So today I thought, well, wow, what if we did a guided meditation that used that creative mind to to stir within us this feeling of being a mountain, of being strong, of being stable, of being immovable, of being at peace, as peace, in peace, in the midst of all the disagreements, wind, storms, and kind of scary things going on out in the world. Some of the overwhelming things that are happening that can cause us to feel quite off kilter. I thought imagining ourselves as a mountain so strong would be useful would be encouraging. So in this moment, I encourage you to hmm, smile. Because in the midst of it all, everything really is not only going to be okay, but in some way it is okay already. Because Peace surpasses understanding and peace isn't about necessarily everybody agreeing and getting along. And stability isn't necessarily that you've got control over everything and nothing scares you. No. What we're talking about is beyond the 3D, this third dimension, what we are embodying, or at least on a journey of embodying, goes beyond that. Some would say into fourth and fifth dimension, but maybe a better way to understand it would be there's a part of us that sees it all. Hmm but chooses to remember that this is all part of the story. This is all part of the creation and the creating. This is all part of the human experience and it's not right, it's not wrong, it's not good, it's not bad. Maybe it's uncomfortable. <laughs> I think it was Viktor Frankl, a survivor of the disgraceful stuff that happened at Auschwitz during the Holocaust. And 
He said you can survive just about anything if you know the why. He said that's how he was able to make it. He was able to survive it because he knew the why behind it all. Hmm. I can't tell you that I know the why behind everything, but there's some understanding or wisdom that has been bubbling up within me as to why it is things are happening. And in that space, hmm, sustaining, enduring, even thriving is possible. Yeah. Okay, so let's get to it. Hmm. Thank you for letting me ramble for a bit. This is all spontaneous. Find a comfortable position, my friend. My curious, compassionate, and courageous fellow journeyer. Find a position that is easy to just breathe into, where you can really allow yourself to release tensions and feel like you're being held lovingly with strength like a good papa would or a good mama would. Maybe you would imagine yourself as a young child scooped up sitting in grandma or grandpa's lap and being rocked on the the old rocker sitting on the porch. And you can hear the birds chirping and Wouldn't it be just like grandma and grandpa or mom and dad to want to go on out there with all their wisdom and watch the storm come through and think of it as beautiful? And they scoop you up and they bring you with them and you get to watch the storm with all of its magnificence and the safety. Yeah from the safety of a lap of someone who loves you, sees you, esteems you, has hope in and for you, and loves you very much. Hmm. So as we continue on our journey, maybe you would find yourself there. So let's just take a few cleansing breaths to really find ourselves here in this moment, right here, right now. I'll be breathing, breathe in for four, hold for seven and breathe out for eight. And when you breathe out, perhaps breathing out through your mouth, you might kind of give a whoosh sound. So Breath in for four, three, two, one. Hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And whoosh, breathe out eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Maybe kind of wiggle yourself around a little and let a little tension leave your body. And we'll breathe in for four, three, two, one. Hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And whoosh, breathe out eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. And again, just noticing any tension in the body and giving it permission to leave, to dissipate, and to let yourself just melt a little further into Grandma Grandpa's lap. One more breath, please. Breathing in for four, 
three, two, one, hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and whoosh, breathing out eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Mm. Remember, you can always come back to the breath. If you find yourself drifting off, you can always come back, hear my voice, and join again. But if you drift off or fall asleep, enjoy. We're going to create a sand kelpa now, which is a heart's intention. It comes from within. So maybe there's a word, peace, stability, loved, held, abundance, strength, trust. Mm, that's a big one, trust. Maybe there's a word that you can feel bubbling up from within you and that can be something that you create as your intention for today's mindfulness. We're going to take some awareness to the different body parts. And as I speak those body parts, you don't have to linger. Just become aware of that particular part of your body. And perhaps, perhaps you would picture in some way there being a connection to your heart space. It's almost like your big toe is connected to your heart or your pinky or your left eye is connected to your heart, that somehow there is a connection in your physical body to this portal known as the heart space. Maybe that would work for you. Maybe that would feel right. And if not, that's okay too. So let's begin with your hands. Bring your attention to your hands. Allow a gentle, subtle warmth to arise in the hands. Say silently to yourself, my hands are becoming really warm. My hands feel incredibly warm. Notice how the sensations in your hands change as they grow warmer. Generate warmth in the hands like you are holding in your hands a stone that has been warmed by the sunshine. Feel that kind of gentle warmth building in your hands, both of your hands becoming completely warm. Next, generate a sensation of coolness in your forehead by saying silently to yourself, my forehead is feeling cool. There is coolness in my forehead. Notice the feeling of coolness spread across your forehead. Feel the forehead getting cooler and cooler. Sense coolness developing in the forehead, cool as though a soft pillow filled with ice rests on your forehead. Feel your entire forehead incredibly cool. Bring awareness to your right arm. Create the feeling of heaviness in the right arm. Complete heaviness in the right arm. Say to yourself, my right arm feels heavy, so heavy. Notice sensations of heaviness developing inside your right arm. Feel the right arm growing heavier and even more at peace, just lying on the earth. Feel an incredible heaviness setting in. The right arm is so heavy and peaceful that it feels as though a comforting blanket weighs it down. 
say again silently. My right arm feels extremely heavy. Sense heaviness filling the whole of the right arm. The right arm heavy and stable on the earth. Go to the left arm. Create the feeling of heaviness in the left arm. Heaviness in the left arm. Say to yourself, my left arm feels so heavy. My left arm is really heavy. Sense how the left arm is completely heavy and weighted down. Allow the sensations of heaviness to settle in. Left arm growing heavier and even more at peace remaining on the earth. Feel the left arm incredibly heavy and completely peaceful. Say again to yourself, my left arm is completely heavy and weighed down. Sense heaviness filling the whole of the left arm, solid and heavy like a mountain. Become aware of the right leg. Create that feeling of heaviness in the right leg. Heaviness in the right leg. Say to yourself, my right leg is becoming really heavy. My right leg is so heavy and peaceful on the earth that it doesn't even want to move. Sense how heaviness is developing in that right leg and the right leg is growing even heavier. Feel that right leg so extremely heavy. Right leg at rest, completely at peace. Say to yourself, my whole right leg is completely heavy, weighed down, stable, solid. Go to the left leg now. Develop the feeling of heaviness in the left leg. Heaviness in the left leg. Feel a weightiness increasing in left leg. Say to yourself inwardly, my left leg is completely heavy, completely at peace, lying still on the earth. Allow the sensations of heaviness and ease to settle into the left leg. Feel the whole left leg heavier and full of restful peace. Say to yourself, my whole left leg is completely heavy, weighed down, peaceful, stable like a mountain. And now the whole body, become aware of your whole body. Feel heaviness developing in your whole body. Feel the whole of the body heavy all at the same moment. And say inwardly, my whole body is getting incredibly heavy. I am solid on the earth. I am like a mountain. Feel the head heavy and at peace. Feel the whole right side of the body heavy and fully at peace. So strong, stable, a mountain. 
Now the whole left side of the body, so heavy and at peace, strong, stable, a mountain. Yes, the whole body, strong, stable, completely peaceful, a mountain. My whole body is so heavy and stable, full of absolute peace. Feel the whole body heavy, infinite, mountain, solid, and at peace. Take a moment to return to the breath. And as you breathe in, perhaps the phrase, I am a mountain would feel good. And then as you exhale, I am at peace would feel good too. So breathing in, I am a mountain. And breathing out, I am at peace. Breathing in, I am a mountain. And breathing out, I am at peace. Breathing in, I am a mountain. And breathing out, I am at peace. As you feel your whole body so strong, so stable, peaceful as a mountain, perhaps you would allow yourself to, in this very safe space, allow your attention to sink a little deeper into yourself. And just to become curious as to that heart portal, that space within you where your truest identity resides. It's not just a name or a person or a lifetime or a family member, a sister, brother, aunt, uncle mother, father, friend, worker, all these other ways that we identify ourselves. In this space deep within us lies our truest identity as divine, as a spark, as a ray of light, as Christ, as God, as love. All the different ways that we can describe this essence of perfection, this essence of creator, source, voice, Om. And for this next little few moments, if you would allow that part of you that is the truest you to be seen, 
to be revealed, to be heard, to be acknowledged, to be welcomed to the forefront. And just say, I give myself permission to see what is already there as my truest identity. I give myself permission to have eyes to see and ears to hear the truth of who I really am, who I have always been and will always be because it exists outside of time. Allow yourself to honor that part of you that God part of you and to know that that's the real mountain that is the real stability and the real strength and the real immovable part it never goes away it never grows old it never grows weary it never is scared And perhaps now you would offer yourself permission to become curious about that part of you that is you. That it would be allowed to awaken. Come on out and play. And become more and more a part of your every day. For you to discover that's who you've always been. Remember, this is who you are. And then be that. Enjoying this incredibly amazing experience as a human being. So dear, curious, compassionate, and courageous fellow, wanderer, wonderer, traveler, become aware again of that body, of this lifetime. Hmm of these experiences. Allow your energies to fill up your whole body. Wiggle your fingers and your toes, arms and legs. Become aware again of your breath. Smile. This is amazing. And you are... (laughs) You are doing a rock star job of it, if I might say so myself. Be sure to drink plenty of water in this next hour or so. Gently let yourself come back, sit up. My hope is that Our little bit of time together helps you land back in your body, helps you to wake up and remember who you are at your core essence so that you can appreciate who you are as this human being all the more and appreciate the other human beings in your life all the more as well. Allow the storms knowing that they don't touch the mountain that is inside of you. Those storms don't affect the core essence of who you are inside. You are strength, you are stability, you are the mountain. You are the wind. (laughs) You are all of it. 
Mm-hmm. How beautiful it is that you are awakening. You are allowing. You are enjoying. You are embodying peace. And so I say to you, dear friend, peace be with you.